What is a suspended slab? What information we need before we even jump on it? Why GA drawing is the most important for us engineers? How to correctly set up the level for the deck and what are the most common formwork systems here in UK? Just quickly guys, before I start, I just want to let you know that that's going to be video number one from the four video series where you're going to find out all from A to Z about the slab construction process. So we're going to be talking mostly about the suspended slab, when we're going to be actually needed the formwork for it and it will be a slab above the ground, so no contact with ground really. And for us guys, for engineers, this is very important to know all the procedure and to know how to set the lasers, levels, how to do the marking on the slab and how to really prepare it for yourself the best way as we're going to be doing plenty of these jobs. Once we land off the job, it might be 70 floor, maybe 30 floor, 20 floor, all residential is actually going like this, so it's slab slab and copy paste copy paste, but you want to make sure how to do it properly so you're not going to miss anything and trust me, plenty of mistakes can happen really. So why the GE drawing is so important for us engineers? The GE drawing, which is a general arrangement, going to show us all the layout, we're going to see the building actually, we're going to see the size of the building, what we're actually dealing with, we're going to see the grid lines, we're going to know the grid lines, the distances between the grid lines, the column layout and actually all information is there, section, details, that will be very first drawing we should have before we even go on site. And I'm going to show you guys the very good example of the GE drawing here, but the at this point guys we actually looking for for the soffit of the slab we're looking from the bottom that's the g drawing for that level we need actually when we below so as you can now see i got a nice drawing here a uh, general arrangement obviously is this the latest revision that's the first question we're going to ask and once we make sure about it we're going to go through all the notes uh, i was repeating this a few times we're going to make sure we got all the information and uh, actually this drawing is great guys as in the legend it shows you what how the section what all this shortcut denotes you got a bos build of slab you got the tou denote stop of absent level so everything is explained you don't need to ask anyone you got everything on the drawing and uh, the reason why i'm showing you this one this is great actually because it shows you the concrete finishes as well so you got all the information about the concrete finishes and for all the job actually and same here you got a concrete you got a slabs columns walls everything is here you got the strand you got that exposure classes and uh, dc classes as well according to british standards i was talking in one of my last videos as well but what's most important for us guys is obviously the slab we want to have a look what's happening here we want to make sure we're going to mark everything for GPs correctly and there are not going to be mistakes in the decking. Obviously guys, the most important things we're going to be taking at this point from the drawing going to be the slab level and the slab thickness. So in this case, you can see here we got 250 slab here and we got 550 slab here, but the top of the slab, the structural slab level stays the same. So 49, 950. That means there will be step in our soffit. So we're going to be definitely looking for uh, dash lines like here guys, you see there's a step in the soffit, but it might show actually some beam there somewhere or it might be actually some dash line around the column, which is going to be the column head for instance and in here we're going to make sure the balcony is the same level as well and the slab is uh, 250 so that means that's going to be same soffit here uh, we're going to be double checking all the balconies uh, looking for that dash lines as i said and uh, even here you see that that line uh, outside the building here that's going to be probably some half fans coming in here but this i'm going to cover in the next video when we're going to be actually going through the sections through the details we want to make sure we know everything once we actually jump on top and we're going to be marking the decking and we're going to be making sure everything is installed in the slab so i'm going to leave it for now and as i'm saying we're looking at the soffit and we need the information to set the decking right so guys if you look actually at this slab we can clearly say that this this line here that soffit going to be just straight like a straight line and then obviously slab on top uh, so that will be the soffit obviously plus the columns and then in this case guys uh, we got the straight line here for the soffit and actually to dash line to this column the uh, slab going to be looking like that the soffit of the slab going to be looking like that and then we got that step we're going down 300 uh, millimeters as you can see there is a difference here 550 between 250 this is a 300 so that's going to be our soffit that's how it's going to be looking here as you can see it's the same story here on this side so the soffit going to go up to here going back 300 up and then going to carry on uh, to that side and obviously our 250 slab going to be here so that's how it's going to be looking and that's how we need to deck for it guys so the deck in here guys is going to be 300 lower than this one and just in this case obviously guys all these columns here actually they should be put 300 lower than this one's here but that as i said this is going to be in the video number four when we're going to jump on top of the pool slab and then i'm going to be telling you what information we need then and how to make our life easy for for the next pool so guys maybe just quickly as an example we can check this soffit of this slab actually so it's 250 very very easy 49 950 minus 250 going to be 49 700 so this here going to be 49 700 i'm going to put it here quickly and as we said the step here is only 300 lower so this is 550 slab here so in this case going to be 49 400 
So at this point guys, we don't really need much more than this and uh, as we're gonna be working on site, we don't really need even EDM to mark this as the steps guys, beams, uh, column heads, they're all gonna be going uh, from column to column or around the column. So this actually, once your column here, you can just spray that line. That's what I was typically doing, the spraying the line on the concrete on the slab below. So the chip is know what's the step and I would actually mark uh, with the spray down below as well. 300, that would tell the chip there's a 300 step, that's all they need. They don't care about the levels, they just care about your laser set and about the different in the level so I would mark it down there with a spray 300 and what I could do also next to my line I would probably do like a showing the step like this just mark with a spray on the slab guys uh, so you're gonna know for yourself and uh, the chip is gonna know as well obviously they should be using the decking joint but you cannot assume guys they know everything you need to keep an eye on them all the time and actually the more you mark the better for yourself really you're gonna have a less work later so guys I would say that would be the very first step to setting the level to know the soffit of the slab don't make any mistakes that's the very important thing guys but to set the decking guys we need to actually know what what, what we're gonna be building here what uh, gonna be propping our slab here so they're gonna be some primary beams some secondary beams and then gonna be some ply on top obviously and uh, we need to make sure what we're using guys and obviously some prop in here uh, depending on the formwork system and I'm gonna show you guys uh, the most commonly used uh, formwork systems uh, here in UK so you've probably seen them before and if you're not you're gonna definitely see them and uh, I'm gonna start from this classic uh, Perry here uh, where we got Perry beams guys we got a nice photo here uh, showing this system from uh, one of the jobs here uh, you can exactly see how we're gonna be building this so you got one beam here propped by the legs and then we got the secondary beam which is spanning uh, uh, on top of these main beams guys but uh, what is most important for us now is the height of this build up here so we can see we got a ply here as well when we're going to be setting the level as i showed we got we know the soffit level but in this case guys uh, this beam is 240 this beam is 240 and the ply typically going to be 18 mil if it's going to be a single ply what i always say guys i want you to keep actually the deck in 5 mil higher that's going to make our life uh, easy and it's always a good practice to keep it like this i wouldn't recommend uh, going more than that and uh, i would uh, actually wouldn't recommend even going less than that so 5 millimeters is actually the perfect uh, setup for us so guys uh, i'm going to show you now uh, one of my other jobs here uh, where we are using the titan deck you see the primary beam called hatrix and we got lumors as well and the uh, same story here you want to know what's the height here from your soffit to the bottom of the beam here so that's the most important thing because that's the height you're going to be setting your laser uh, i got another example here what you really need actually you need a distance from the soffit of your slab to the bottom of this beam here and i'm going to show you here the brochure you got the height here so you see the smaller the lumors are 150 and the main beams here uh, the hatrix they two to five i always encourage you guys uh, when you're going to be on site just take your tape measure just double check the measure the beam please so let's go back to this uh, i'm going to show you sky deck that's the photo from one of the jobs as well you can have a look and i got a brochure as well when you can have a look for your for thickness of your build up you got 120 uh, panels sitting on top of the 240 beam so that guy's uh, gonna be 360 from from the soffit of our slab gonna be 360 lower to the beam but we're gonna leave it at 355 as we want to keep that five mil higher so i got uh, another system here titan hv i was using this as well on one of my jobs so we got a main beam here and we got a secondary beam both hv guys and the skydeck system are great systems uh, unfortunately uh, often incorrectly used really so guys uh, i want to be slowly finishing this video so i hope you now know why the GA drawing is so important for us that's the most important drawing that's where we're gonna find the most important information for us with the grid lines and with everything and then we're actually gonna be jumping on the sections on the details later I hope now you know depending on what formwork you're gonna be using how to set the level for the for the decking guys for the next level slab and in the next video guys we're gonna be jumping on top we're gonna be further taking information from the drawings to be sure we're gonna mark everything all these steps in the soffit now have to be correctly marked from top guys from the decking and that's the time guys when we need to check all the slab edges it might be the half ends coming into slab edge it might be the balcony stabs it may be some brackets for the fins later for the elevation and there might be like in this case a balconies with a thermal break which we need to mark as well so guys as always don't forget to leave the thumbs up subscribe to the channel to join the best community of engineers so see you next time